All right, fellas, well, we are currently in Texas at our pickup. We are, yeah, that looks good. We're currently in Texas at our pickup. We are in Victoria, Texas. Now, you guys did ask for the 18 speed video. Um, I figured we'd get right to it. No waste, no time. Um, I wanted to say the transmission did cost me $14,000. Now, it wasn't just the transmission. I got transmission done, because you got to think, I came from a 10 speed to 18 speed. So if you guys who don't know, when you're buying a transmission, they usually, unless you're gonna buy one brand spanking new, they usually want you to swap out your transmission with the one that you're getting. So meaning, you're gonna replace the core. Core meaning, you know, the parts and stuff like that that go into it. So because I do not have an 18-speed core, I have a 10-speed core, that's not really a valuable to get an 18-speed. So I have to pay the initial $5,100 for the transmission. And then if you had the core, then you don't have to pay the extra, the extra core charge. So I have to pay the core charge. So the core charge is $3,000. So 51 plus three, that's $8,100. Then the labor, labor can fluctuate depending on what shop you go to. My labor was around $2,000, that's 10 grand. Plus I got uh, labor for all this right here at the top of the roof, had to get new fiberglass because it was an extreme leak right here. So all this is new fiberglass. They messed up a couple buttons right here, but I'm not gonna trip off of that. I'm ordering some new ones. Um, all this is new fiberglass, all new lights, all new cab lights at the bottom, all new market lights at the bottom, new headlights, new turning signals. They rewired everything so that way everything works. Because before, I had a lot of issues with the uh, lights going out all the time. I had to fix my lights like all the time. So about a quick 12 minute drive. Like I said, I'm gonna try to do the best I can, especially early in this morning. I'm gonna try to get some, um, it looked like he wanted to hit me, huh? Try to get some of the footage for you guys. Now, I have to get an adjustment with my clutch because engaging the clutch is a little bit too much. It's, 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 all, it's always been like this, but he said that I have to get an adjustment. He said everything up there is new, so you just got to get an adjustment. I have to adjust it or something like that, he said. So you see how, I don't know how true this is for everybody, but me engaging, and I'm, put, I'm pressing all the way down to the ground right now, it doesn't engage right away. So I have to jam it in there, which doesn't seem to be as fun you know what i mean but once i jam it in there she's good to go and we're good to rock off but like i said it's just a good feeling knowing that everything works now all my turning signals work um all my headlights work you know that was always an issue you know they would go out from time to time it was always an issue especially with this old girl it was always an issue. So getting everything rewired was definitely something that needed to happen, and I'm happy that it happened. Now, I know you guys are probably looking at the video right now like, what is up with this shifter? Now, this shifter was a mistake. Um, I got a 42-inch shifter for my dad or a while ago for me, and it ended up being for my dad because you know I didn't really want it anymore because I felt like it was too short. The stick is actually a lot taller than what I thought it was going to be in the trunk. So this is something I had to get used to in the first couple of days of riding, but it's not horrible. I just know that I, it could be better. But so far, so good. I'm not tripping off of it. I mean, it looks cool, but it looks super trucker if you really ask me. to make this right hand turn here. Now, what I've been doing to just kind of eliminate the whole jamming it into gear, when I'm coming to a stop like I just did, I just go ahead and put it in the gear that I need to be in. And then, you know, I just take off with the appropriate 
gear, which is for me is two instead of being in low. So that way I don't have any issues because I don't like jamming into gear and I know that I can't be that great for the truck. So when I get back home, that's something that he's already said he's gonna look into for me. So let's try to get a quick shift for you guys right quick, see if I can get one in. I've been trying to learn how to do is the throttle control which is not really that hard I'm actually learning so nobody like I said nobody really taught me how to drive uh, a, tra a, a manual truck they just taught you the double clutch and stuff like that they didn't really teach you what you really need to learn which is throttle control throttle control is the most important thing when it comes to driving these manual trucks I didn't know that how serious it was until I got into the 18 speed you know just having that throttle control like even when you come off the gas to shift it's literally just a, you take your foot off just ever so slightly where it's kind of still on the throttle and then you put the gear, put it in gear and then you back on the throttle. It's not you come off the throttle and then back on the throttle. It's literally ever so slightly, put it in gear, put it back in gear and then, you know what I mean? Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it, it, we do got a little bit more speed than we had before. <laughs> We got a little bit more speed than we had before, okay? <laughs> so I do have a 90 miles an hour truck now. I do have a 90 miles an hour truck, don't ask me how I know, I just know. That's 18. That's 17. Well, I think this is nine direct. There's a proper term for it. Like I said, you got 18 speed, it's not really 18 gears. I think that's nine direct, and then when you flip the split, the splitter, it's nine indirect. Just don't know which one is which. But I think nine direct is when you initially put it into gear, and then when you hit, hit your splitter forward, I think that's nine indirect, which is basically you cutting your gear in half. If I'm correct, if I'm not correct, then correct me. There we go, break it down. See, I took my foot off the, off the throttle. We'll leave it right there because it looks like we're not slowing down that much. But like I said, throttle control. Back on the throttle, driving. I should be able to swap gears right now and you don't hear no, no jake break. Be able to swap gears right now. You know, here to take break. Throttle control. That's all that it is. That it is all that it is. I couldn't wait to get the 18 speed because I doing it in my dad's truck, practicing his truck. It just wasn't enough for me, you know. Like learning how he drives it versus how I drive it. I mean, everybody got their own little style to it, but you know. What's right is right, what's wrong is wrong, but um, yeah, I'm just glad I got my own out of practicing it because I get so much more opportunity, you know what I'm saying, to really, to really perfect it, you know what I mean?
shifting right now is actually similar to how I used to shift in the 10 speed because you know you don't have a splitter in the 10 speed. It's just straight gears. What you can still do once you get into the 18 speed is to, you know, I can still split if I need to split. The split is really made for when you have a heavy payload and you don't want to go through all this because all these gears just put a lot of stress. You know what I mean? Going through this gear to the next gear to the next gear is a lot of stress. Well, to make your transition a little bit easier, you have those splitters where you can cut the gear in half so that way it doesn't put that much, I guess, torque. It doesn't put that much torque on you or that much strain on you. I actually can stay in this gear, I believe. Maybe I can't. Thought I could. What's the name of this place called, baby? Diamond Fiberglass. Diamond Fiberglass. Diamond Fiberglass. Probably gonna be over here. Like I said, I can hit the switch, I can go up to that next gear. That's almost just like similar to shifting in that 10 speed.
blast. I mean, we we scratching the surface of legal right now. <laughs> Real thin line between gray and black and white. We're really scratching the surface, but we made it home. Only five minutes from now. driving a lot harder than usual I'm trying to get you guys something to see something to hear Yeah, with four minutes to spare, with four minutes to spare, you know what I'm saying? I did, right here, baby, right, right here so the camera can see you. Come here so the camera can see you, come here, come here. It's good. Right, right there, that's what I'm talking about. Four minutes, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Huh? Finn? Noggin. Noggin. Dude, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Order that Uber, man, let's get to the crib. Do you want, in 30 minutes, you will receive 11 hour driving violation. No, we won't, because we here. We here. We're going to certify my date, you know what I'm saying? So DOT could be happy about that. Certify, boom. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? 
That's 758 miles in one day. 758 miles. Straight. Straight like that. It could have been close to 800. But we had to stop for the pilot car because you know they got to take a break, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know, you know they can't go as long as we can, you know what I'm saying? But I think I put enough footage in here of the transmission. So y'all got to see the transmission, especially just what I just did down. I was really running it just now. I was really in that mode, you know what I'm saying? So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tell me what you guys want next because I enjoy making this video. I'm gonna see if I can, I mean, of course, you know, now that I got it, we're gonna implement that more into the channel, of course. But uh, we still gotta drop this load off. So we're waiting on South Carolina permits for tomorrow. Hopefully they come tomorrow, we can take off. If not, then we'll stay. Uh, and then we'll leave the next day early in the morning because we should have it tomorrow by afternoon time or something like that. We might catch up with Teddy. Teddy might catch up with us, excuse me, because he's behind us right now. He had to stop, I know he had to stop. Hopefully he did stop. But yeah, that's it, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace. It's trucking with Benny, hitting the road, living that trucker life, carrying the load. From sunrise to sunset, Benny's on the ground.